Hello dear students you all are welcome in this particular lecture we are going to start the new topic that is we are going to learn about cell wall yes students in this particular lecture we are going to learn about one of the important outermost covering that is found in certain organisms which protect their body from many of the thing so students starting with particularly its characteristic feature if we talk about it is going to be non living it is going to be a rigid structure and it is permeable now why cell wall is permeable in nature if we talk about it certainly so in case of the organisms it is found as the outermost layer inner to the cell wall is the presence of the plasma membrane and plasma membrane as we all know that it is the one which kind of keep a check that what thing is going into or out of the cell particularly so starting with it certainly we are going to first discuss about the cell wall that is to be present in case of the plants so here we need to know about something so let's get started if we talk about we all know that the plant cell it is kind of hexagonal in shape let's say like this okay so here this one that i have drawn over here this is kind of depicting the plasma membrane you can say or you can call it as the cell membrane as well okay so this is depicting the plasma or the cell membrane now after this if we talk about in case of the plant there is the primary thin layer that develops or we can call it as it is the first formed layer as well okay so outer to this plasma membrane here if we draw it like this so here it is developed like so okay outer to the plasma membrane what do we call it as this is to be called as the primary cell wall what we are going to refer to it as this is the primary cell wall now students this primary cell wall it is made up of cellulose microfibrils and the pectin as well as hemicellulose is there now students outer to this primary cell wall there is one more cementing layer that develops which kind of present between two adjacent cells like this this is the one which is what we refer to as this is outer to the primary cell wall we can say that and if we just name it certainly so this is going to be called as the middle lamella okay students so this middle lamella is the one which is made up of calcium and magnesium pectate and it is going to act as the cementing layer between the two adjacent cells particularly now if we talk about next in case of the mature plant cells what happens is that inner to the primary cell wall here we can see this is the inner one inner region okay so inner to this primary cell wall this kind of a structure starts developing between the primary cell wall and we can say the plasma membrane like this okay and if we see it certainly so it is going to be a little bit thicker as compared to the primary cell wall here we go this is how it looks it is present just uh, below the primary cell wall and it is a little bit thicker as compared to the primary cell wall so here we going to label it as the secondary cell wall now in which plant cell is the secondary cell wall more prominent it is more prominent in case of the mature ones okay means in case of the young plant cells there would be only presence of plasma membrane primary cell wall and middle lamella while in case of the mature plant cell it would be depicting these all layers so here what we have drawn this one is going to be the plant cell that we have drawn and it is we can say that it is the mature plant cell okay students now 
many times what happens is that the middle lamella and the primary cell wall they do not occur in the continuous layers okay students so for that they kind of form the cytoplasmic bridge to connect the two cells of the plants okay so if we see it again let's again start it particularly let's say this yellow colored one is the primary cell wall okay so if we see that this is the primary cell wall of the first first cell and this is going to be of the second cell okay now here we go this is how it goes okay and if we just want to draw the plasma membrane which we marked with the red color okay so if you see this is the plasma membrane marked with the red color Okay, and if we just see over here, we all know that in case of the plant cell, maximum volume is to be occupied by the vacuole. Like here, we can say that this maximum value can be occupied by the vacuole basically. Okay, so if we see that these are the materials that are present over here, and if we just want to draw the nucleus as well, we can draw it very certainly over here, which is at the periphery kind of, okay. So, here if we see students, here this blue colored material, it needs to be transported from the cell 1 to the cell 2. So, how it would be transported? As we know that the communication in between the animal cell is very easy, while in case of the plant cell, just to communicate between the two, they communicate via these cytoplasmic bridges. If you see over here, this cytoplasmic bridge would conduct the transport of the material from first cell to the other like this okay and this condition if we talk about what do we call it certainly as we call this particular thing as the plasmodesmata what is it it is the plasmodesmata or the cytoplasmic bridge that is to be formed between the two cells okay students and if you see that these plasmodesmata they can occur in the number of about you can just note down it that uh, between two cells there can be 10 raised to the power 3 to 10 raised to the power 5 plasmodesmata present between the two cells so as to allow the substances to get transported from one cell to other or just for the communication of the cell. Now if we talk about if we just recall where was the middle lamella middle lamella was present outer to this certainly so this is the middle lamella it is not a part of this particular one okay this is the middle lamella okay students so this is the basic structure of the plant cell we can say having the plasma membrane at the innermost layer after that there is secondary cell wall in case of the mature cells followed by that is the primary cell wall and at last the thing the cementing layer that is present between two particular cells is going to be referred to as the middle lamella which is made up of calcium and magnesium pectate now proceeding with it further so as we discussed that the plant cell wall it is made up of the cellulose what is cellulose cellulose is the long unbranched chain of the filamentous carbohydrate and it provides the stiffness and it keeps the plant upright as well so looking at the image of the same here we can see the plasma membrane having the phospholipid bilayer followed by that is the primary cell wall we can see and if we just want to observe what this primary cell wall is going to contain so it consists of the cellulose microfibril which is long unbranched chain of the filamentous carbohydrates next is the hemicellulose now this hemicellulose students it provides the strength it helps in strengthening of the plant okay and it is made up of a little bit shorter chains of filamentous carbohydrates next is going to be the pectin this pectin students it 
act in the cell adhesion and also during the young age of the plant it kind of allows the cell to get expand further okay so this is how these are going to be helpful so this is the basic structure of the plant cell wall basically and at last we can see the middle lamella which is made up of what calcium and magnesium pectate means it is the cementing layer found between the two adjacent cells now proceeding to the next here we have that we need to note down that cellulose being the complex fibrous carbohydrate it cannot be digested by humans but it can be digested by the kettles as they have the bacteria present in their stomach and they secrete the cellulase enzyme to digest the cellulose certainly okay Okay, students. Now, out of all the components, humans can only digest the middle lamella portion. Okay. Now, students. Next organism that we are going to discuss is going to be the fungi. So, in case of fungi, the most abundantly found polysaccharide is there, which makes up its cell wall. That is going to be the chitin, particularly. Now, students. After this fungi, we need to discuss about the next organism, which follows the bacteria particularly now talking about the structure of the bacteria here we can see certainly what is that there is the presence of the cell wall which is marked on the yellow layer now if we talk about this green layer what is this depicting over here it is depicting the plasma membrane if you see okay this is what this is the plasma membrane now we can see one more outermost layer that is of red color this outermost protective coat is called as the glycocalyx and students this glycocalyx it is can be the form of loose sheath where it is called as the slime and if this glycocalyx is in the form of tough capsule so it is called as the capsule particularly okay students now if we talk about it so this cell wall in case of the bacteria is made up of peptidoglycan which kind of strengthen it up and this is also called by the another name that is murin okay students so this is how the bacterial cell wall looks like now proceeding on to the next here we have to end up the lecture by discussing the functions of the cell wall the very first function is that it gives shape to the cell now if we see in case of the plant cell the cell wall is going to provide that particular shape to the plant cell while in case of the animal cell it was kind of irregular in shape due to the absence of the same next if we talk about it provides protection and support to the cell as we all know that the plants they are all time anchored at a particular place okay students so they have to bear all sort of environmental stress now just to bear up that environmental stress they need to get protected with the help of this amazing cell wall next point after this is that it prevents undue expansion of the cell in hypotonic solution so students as we all know that in case of the animal cell when placed in hypotonic solution it kind of burst open while if we talk about the plant cell it doesn't burst open okay why because of the presence of the cell wall as its outer layer now students after this particularly we need to discuss some of the question where it says that cell wall shows the very first one semi permeability permeability impermeability or different permeability so students we know that cell wall shows the permeability because it is permeable in nature right now the next question that follows it particularly it says that the bacterial cell wall is composed of a phospholipid matrix no it is of cell membrane composition next a lipoprotein no chitin it is present in case of fungi okay a polymer of sugar which is also called as peptidoglycan or the murine yes students so this option is going to be the very correct answer of the given question now if we talk about the next question here we have it says that adjacent cell in a plant tissue are held together by middle lamella which is made up of we know that it is the cementing layer so it would be made up of cellulose no calcium and magnesium pectate yes students this is the very correct answer of the given question next option says hemicellulose next says lignin and subrin so they are incorrect ones now the last question of this particular 
topic. Here we have the last question which says that identify the correct options. Here we need to identify the correct options pertaining to plasmodesmata. The first says that it is observed in animal cells. So students this option is incorrect. Okay. Next says that they are equivalent to junctions found in animal cell. Well, yes, it is the cytoplasmic bridge or the cytoplasmic connection between the two plant cells. So it is correct. Next says that observed in cell wall. So yes, students, this is again correct. Next, they form the cytoplasmic bridges. Again, this one is correct option. Now we need to choose the correct point. So we see that the second, third and fourth one is the correct. So if we see the options, the very very first option is describing the same and it is saying that second, third and fourth option is the correct answer of the given question. So students, this is all about the topic that is cell wall. I hope you all have understood the topic very well. Kindly go through the content and DPP provided to you as well. Thank you.